This stunning image is an example from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, of a phenomenon known as a light pillar. It takes some pretty cold weather for these to form. Weather that we had here in West Michigan last weekend when we saw some of them. Meteorologist Michael Behrens joins us now live to explain how these lights form. Michael? Yeah, thanks, Nick. That was a beautiful picture there and another beautiful view here that we got in West Michigan over the weekend. John Patrick in Walker sent us this picture and asked, what is this? Is this aliens? What are these beams of light? Well, John, those are something called light pillars and they actually form in cold, calm conditions across the region. Conditions like we had last weekend. What you need temperatures 14 degrees or less for the right type of ice crystals to form. Of course, enough moisture in the air for the ice crystals to form. We had that last week weekend about the same time as these showed up some patchy freezing fog showed up too and little to no wind that helped things get oriented the right way in the atmosphere. So here's what we're looking at. This is up in the sky with ice crystals forming. Once we get the right temperature, we get these type of crystals called plates. Now normally they uh, don't create the pillars if there's wind because these will start to tumble around. They'll bump into each other. They'll cling to one another. But if the winds are calm, these plates will orient themselves horizontally and they'll sort of fall like little fl little flying saucers toward the ground. Now what these do is they reflect light from the surface. So here's your city. You got a bunch of city lights down here, street lights, lampposts, things like that. And the light from that will hit, bounce up into the sky off those plates down to you as an observer on the ground. And then an optical illusion takes place because those light pillars aren't above the light source, but you're seeing them reflected off the ice crystals between you and the source of light. And these can create very beautiful images because they'll happen from just about any light source between you and the crystal. So you'll usually see more than one of them in the sky at a time and they'll also take on the color of the light that created them. So you can get a beautiful effect across the sky depending on what light sources are near you. Not a common phenomenon, but not entirely unheard of either. Beautiful whenever you can catch it across the region. Guys.